What's going on, people? So I'm just sitting here thinking, man. And I just got to be honest. I'm thinking people are drunk off the world. They're literally drunk. The world has indoctrinated people since their birth. The media has been continually pumping lies and deceptions and, and narratives in people's heads. That just like drinking alcohol, people have lost all sight of perspective and perception of reality. Like, it's, you can't talk to drunk people. You can't. You can't drunk to people who are high off some drug, drunk. You notice that no matter what you say or what you do, they're not aligned with reality. And that's what it's like being in the world today. People are drunk off the world. It's like people are so programmed to only care about what the, the, the medium of television and, and, and propaganda and, and entertainment is telling them until people would literally, like a drunken person, walk off a cliff. Not even realizing it's a cliff. Just walk off of it because they can't. And it's serious. Now, again, I know this is scripture. I know that, look, I have hope. I know people, and it's not hope in the world. See, it's a foolish thing to have hope in this world. This world is showing you what it's about. Now, if you ignore what the world is showing you and how it actually treats you and have hope in something evil, corrupt, and just using you just to further its own agenda, then that's foolish. You know, people have to, to be sober is the regeneration of God opening your eyes, of you being aware first with your own issues. People don't even get themselves together. It's funny how sometimes I had to learn this, that I expect people to see the truth of a world that's been indoctrinating them since they were born, but they don't even see the truth of the things that's going on within themselves. So I'm actually humbled to realize that blind people can't see. It took me a while to understand that when, when the Bible speaks of blind people and why that, you know, why blind people are used a lot, they cannot see. Try to explain colors to blind people. Who, who, who you're trying to explain your perception of colors is something that you have seen to someone who has never seen. It's impossible. Not to say they don't have an understanding of colors outside of sight, but either way, I can't relate to them and they can't relate to me. That's why the scriptures say the blind lead the blind. They both fall in the ditch. Because the sense of direction only matters with sight. And people are drunk. They're drunk off their own evil. To the point where if it doesn't feed their lust, their vanity, their greed, their ego, their narcissism, need for attention, it doesn't even matter. People are literally dying in this world, and they're not even going to understand why they're dead. They're just going to wake up on the judgment seat of God, and it's going to be, it's going to be done. <laughs> Eternity is already set in motion. What a waste of life. But just to look at what's happening in the world, you know, I'm, I got to be honest, man, is I didn't even expect this to happen this fast. A year is all it took. One year is all it took for everything to change. And yet, to some people, nothing's changed because they're still just as blind and foolish as they were a year prior, which is sad because that means you're just ignoring all objective reality. You're ignoring the fact that you know, the government instituted a national lockdown, that the world had the lockdown, that everything about everything pretty much is no longer the way it used to be. The fact that people uh, all of a sudden act like there's only one thing in this world that can kill you while they continue to die from everything else. <laughs> it's dumb. You know, it's like, what? All right, so... Let me let me get let me just talk candy right now. People are destroying themselves literally in every way possible. Destructive lifestyles, eating garbage foods, having unprotected, reckless sex, um, doing all kinds of hardcore drugs. They're doing 
everything right in this very moment to literally destroy themselves. But none of that matters because the government and its institution said only one thing matters. So don't critically think, yes, they actually made an article by a well-published uh, news agency that said that critically, critical thinking is destroying people, along with personal responsibility over your health. Google it. Don't take my word for it. Yes, they say critical thinking and personal responsibility are the enemy. <laughs> and you should believe your overlords. You know, it took me a while to realize, why is the first commandment, thou shalt have no other gods before me, saith the Lord. Because people have made government God. And you know why they trust in government as God? Because they see themselves as God. And they only want to cater to things that cater to them under what they want. You know, in the beginning, Adam and Eve ate of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And this kind of plays into that, the previous video. So I, I got a two in one, in one night. I'm on a roll for me. And they ate of that tree. Now, keep in mind, the knowledge of good was already in front of them because they had that creator to directly intervene in their lives, to tell them what was right and what was wrong. Well, tell them what was right. Wrong is obviously disobeying the one who created you. You would think that would be obvious, right? But now the knowledge of evil came in. And here's the thing. If you tell a lie, you're aware you're telling a lie. And it's always weird to me that people do evil as though they didn't, they weren't aware they were doing it. But the very intent of the evil they did was to deceive and manipulate and control someone. Or to steal, kill, and destroy. Something they wouldn't want done to them, but then they pretend like it was a mistake. I hate when people talk about their evil as a, as a mistake. No one does evil as a mistake. You did it intentionally. Matter of fact, we have all planned evil in our lives. We have all planned to lie. So evil is intentional. It's not a mistake. It's what you wanted to do. You're just mad that it didn't turn out the way you expected. Because evil has an agenda of its own. That's why, see, people think God just wants them to avoid doing all these things that their nature, their carnal nature doesn't want them to do no evil has agenda of its own and you're blind and evil is blinding unto the one that's doing it and you won't understand the agenda of evil until you're immersed in it until it's too late you know people always want to say prevention is the best cure and it is because once you start reacting to something it's already taken an effect on you and, and pushed you in a course or direction so I look, I'm just trying to tell people, don't be drunk on this world. This world doesn't care about you. I mean, good grief, man. I mean, it used to be a time where people just had an understanding that what they did and how they lived, the choices they made mattered. They actually mattered more than anything. You know, even to the point where, you know, even if you didn't have good, viable parents growing up, you had experience, trial and error. You had all of these good teachers that taught you about yourself. Now people just ignore what they are seeing in life, the walls that present themselves. They just keep hitting the same wall and blaming somebody else other than the fact that they see the wall, they know it's a wall, and they walk right into it again, over and over again. That's why I said there's a drunkenness going on. And people are drunk with evil. I suggest everybody check out... Uh, a scripture in Matthew 3 19 and it's where the biblical Jesus Christ I have to say biblical because there's a Jesus of, of the imagination of people there's a false Jesus that are, is being propagated in the world that is not biblical that does not represent the Bible and even 2nd Corinthians 11 uh, starting at verse 2 through you can just read the whole chapter 11 tells you about if anyone preaches a different Jesus a different gospel or a different spirit then has been preached, you you might well bear with them because you're self-deceived. You know, God is actually, there's a simplicity in Christ because everything in this world is ordered 
by the logic of God's mind. He created the world. Therefore, he determines how everything works. And if you just try and obey how he's designed things to work, the outcome will prove itself. That's true logic is that when you allow the outcome be the, the proof of something, not just you it catering to what you think or what you want before you examine results. Because the, the, the look at the results of the world. You got a bunch of corruption, a bunch of killing people, stealing uh, agendas of victimhood. Victimhood never helps anybody. All you're doing by being a victim is designated who your oppressor will be. This world seeks to conquer and to rule with an iron fist. Ruthless, cold-hearted. There's no love in this world, and love is defined as obeying God. It's nothing to do with how you feel. Men don't even care about feelings because we care about actually being functional. We care about actually surviving. We care about actually avoiding negative consequences and outcomes. If my feelings are a consequence or a sacrifice for me to have a better outcome in my life, for me to avoid self-destruction or some kind of unforeseen, just bad result, then good. I've learned something. And see, feelings is just a word that replaces spirit. Because spirit is what's in your body. It's what makes your body alive. But they want you to think your spirit is some kind of magic or something like that. No, your spirit is a part of you that's reasoning what I'm telling you right now. And you're ordering it against the law of God or the reaction of your flesh. Now, the world wants you to adhere to your flesh. It wants you to adhere to the part of you that's led you into every bad thing you've ever done. That's led you to every negative outcome or consequence you've ever done. Be it lust, vanity, greed, everything has been done. The world wants you to be led by your flesh. God wants you to be led by your spirit. That is an honest reflection that holds you accountable first of what you're doing. So you can first identify the evil in yourself. You can hold yourself up to the first righteous standard because until you can see clearly for yourself, you can't judge anything on the outside. You're jaded from the inside. You're compromised. So you're just going to see everything on the outside based on a flawed perception of what's happening in the inside of you. Sober up. It's time to wake up. It's time to come out of this delusion, this sleep that everybody's in. You know, the people that want to follow the world, why does, think about this, the people that want to follow the course of the world, why are they so, um, why are they so headstrong on forcing everybody else to follow them? If you truly believe in that what your, your way is right, why do you have so much hate for people who do not follow you? Maybe you need other people to follow you to validate your existence and why you're actually doing something because you deep down you know it's bad you deep down you know it's meaningless it's like people want to tell me there is no god as if that's supposed to be some kind of feeling <laughs> to help something okay if there is no god then what is the value of your life because according to the world you're nothing it's no different from you than a pile of dirt over there according to the world Matter of fact, the dirt has more value to you because they can grow food off of it. They can't do nothing with you. It's, you're too replaceable. But yeah, people want to say stuff uh, that's uh, antithesis to what you're saying as though they, that's their version of hope. That's, hopelessness is the new hope in this world. You know, just believing and trusting that the government somehow is going to work out something they never cared about is hope to these people. The government, that oppressive ruler, ruling hand that always hated people and manipulated people for the, their own gain, is going to figure it out one day. They're going to actually give you policies that policies that actually care about your existence as a person. No, God gives you value because God created you because you're a reflection of his image when you walk again according to his will. God can only attribute value. The world can only take it away. The world can only reduce you down to nothing. Make your life expendable. Make your life a joke, a parody of existence for people to laugh at, for people to use. You want to know what true slavery is? Is when you don't even realize you're a slave, but you, you live to serve people who never cared about you. That's real slavery. And this begins in the mind. So I just wanted to 
hope this made sense. I just wanted to speak off the cuff for a second. Peace out, y'all.